I'm Glenn de Blois, 26 years old, from the Netherlands, and I do a snowboard course. Yeah, like you said, there's no, there's no mountains in the Netherlands, so yeah, most like skiing and snowboarding is quite popular, but just for the tourists. So they go to Austria or Italy, like say once, like around Christmas maybe, they go on holidays and then, yeah, that, that, then they go for one week and they come back, but like the, doing the competitions and stuff, no one really does. So I started skiing when I was three. I came to a point where I didn't really like skiing anymore, so I started to go snowboarding. But in the Netherlands, so we have the snow domes, but I actually learned snowboarding on the, on the magic carpet, so it's like a carpet that moves, but I keep on standing on the same place, so it's not cold or anything. But it's just like, it's like on the treadmill, you're running, and the, the thing moves, but you keep on standing on the same place. There is the Dutch Federation. There are some other Dutch riders, but they're not doing World Cup yet. They do fish races and Europa Cups. So I got a deal with, uh, yeah, with Swissky, the Swiss Federation, that I can uh, yeah, do the competitions and train with them. Also use the tech and the physio, so literally I'm, yeah, I'm, Swi I'm, I'm Swiss, but I'm not. That's, but yeah, that's how it works, really. We had our first event in, uh, in China. My came eight there, so yeah, I was happy with the result. And the second one was Montafon, uh, good qualification. But first heat, uh, we all crashed in the second bank, so I came third and didn't make it through. And then Italy, Italy, I was not riding that well, so I was not that really happy with my performance there. Yeah, last year was the first time they did, uh, I mean, they did World Cups there before, but it was my first World Cup there. And I came first, it was my first, po actually first podium, first victory. Great memories, of course, because I always wanted to, let's say, win a World Cup. And then uh, that race was the first uh, qualifier for us for the Olympics. And then uh, straight away I made it, so I was really happy. Of course, I hope they're gonna do the race. Every race we can do is, is another race, you know? And now they canceled it, not because of COVID, just because there was no snow, and they talking about to do it after the Olympics. So if they do it, yeah, of course I'm happy. And then, yeah, it would be fun to ride it again. Like, let's say the way to the Olympics, at the moment, I just have been doing the same as every, every season before. The only thing now is that uh, at the moment I'm, I'm not really nervous or anything, but the hardest part is to, let's say, yeah, not, not get COVID or anything, you know, because if you get it, you, yeah, you can't start the race and you won't be able to do the Olympics. So that's pretty hard with all the traveling and um, yeah, all the places you go. I, I think my preparation is fine, I'm feeling good. I'm not injured or anything, and I've been working hard all summer, of course, in the gym, but like everybody else, not just me doing this, everyone is doing it. So we will see that, who, yeah, the best rider will win there, so it's easy. And my friends actually, they like to snowboard a lot themselves as well, and kite surfing, and doing lots of other sports, but um, yeah, of course I like it that I go, that, that, that I'm qualified for the Olympics or that I snowboard, but yeah, at the end of the day, they, yeah, if, I, if I wouldn't do it, they still would think the same about me. The Netherlands serves a lot of ice skaters and the, what I really like is that all the other years, the Olympics mostly, just all the other links is just about ice skating and now we actually have some other disciplines as well to uh, to participate there you know so 
Yeah, I'm glad to show the, the people in the Netherlands that it's not just all about ice skating, but also about snowboard and ski.